Children of the Corn remake finally getting a March release from RLJE Films and Shudder. So you see words like Children of the Corn remake, and you know, you think, of course, that's coming. That's probably a, was a guarantee, you know, from when all these Stephen King properties started getting remade. Um, it's just a very popular one amongst people. Um, finally getting March release. Now, I don't really know how to take that. As it's one of those things where it's like, okay, has this just been sitting on a shelf for a little while? Yeah. Or is this one of those things where it's like, okay, they've just been, you know, silent. We haven't heard anything. So we're just kind of, you know, getting there. Um, what we do know is that it will be hitting theaters on March 3rd and it's going to have an 18 day theatrical window uh, before it hits shutter on March 21st. So, you know, this is another fun one to throw in, in the March catalog there. We're going to probably talk about it for sure. You know, we got Scream that month and everything. So, yeah, another great horror movie, I guess, to throw in the mix, whether that is great as in it'll be good or just great because, hey, more horror uh, is yet to be uh, decided. So, Luke, what do you think of this Children of the Corn <laughs> remake? I do not have high hopes for it. Um, okay. I don't know. Have you seen the original? Um, I remember I watched it on TV ages and ages ago as a kid. I don't recall much of it at all. I, it just didn't really grab my interest. Okay. And, and that's where I'm at with it. I think uh, I remember the opening scene, uh, you know, the kids turning on all the adults. Um, and that's really it for me. It's um, Children of the Corn for me just seems like a forgettable property. And I don't know if it's one that is something that, you know, I guess with Stephen King's name attached to anything uh, like this, you're really going to try to make a play to, uh, you know, get this made um, uh, theatrically in some point. But it's not like, I don't think this has the the kind of selling points as something like an It or um, a lot of the other things that um, Stephen King has that are just really notable. Children of the Corn has always been around, but it's never really been something that everyone's like, oh, we need a Children of the Corn remake or anything. Um, even when the original came out, I don't know if it was a big hit then. It just seemed to always kind of be on TV. You know, it was, it was always a passive watch whenever it was on. So I don't remember if I've ever actually sat down and see the the actual whole film. I think Linda Hamilton's in it, but I don't remember 100%. She um, is in it. I do. I can confirm that. And, and like you said... Um, not really keeping tabs on this. I, I know like we've had the, the articles about Salem's lot in, in that kind of being like, Oh, it's, it's being pushed back and doesn't have a release anymore. Turn on the corn had, I had no idea that this was, you know, even a, a thing that was still, you know, a property that was being like, Oh, this is rich for a remake or to bring this back onto the screen or anything, because it, again, it wasn't something that has intrigued me. Um, I think the director here, what do you do? Ultraviolet maybe or something? I, yeah. Equilibrium um, and, uh, the remake of point break. And, and so, and, recall. and like, for me, it, <laughs> it wasn't anything that I was like, uh, that stuck out to me be like, oh man, this is, this is the right guy to, uh, bring this property to prominence. So, uh, for me, I don't have high hopes for it. I think this is probably just going to be some random one that's, it's thrown out there. I'm surprised it's getting a theatrical release. Again, it's probably going to be very limited um i'm gonna say um so i i don't think it's really gonna do big numbers or, or get you know word of mouth going um i think this will probably be one i think this is gonna be like a fire starter where it's probably gonna forget I, that it came out in 2023 i definitely am getting fire starter vibes from this which is great for us because that's uh, one of the first movies we reviewed on the channel um but yeah no that's uh that was that's definitely what I thought of when I, I saw this. And I'm actually reading into this a little bit more. Um, in Wim's movie, which is said to have very little to do with King's novel, a psychopathic 12-year-old girl in a small town in Nebraska recruits all the other children and goes on a bloody rampage, killing the corrupt adults and anyone else who opposes her. Uh, a bright high schooler who won't go along with the plans is the town's only hope for survival. So yeah, very different uh, story seems yeah. like i wonder if we're going to get the entity i know there's like some form of force out in the cornfields yeah uh that kind of draws the kids and makes them uh you know this evil so i'm very curious to see um if that's going to come into play here but yeah i mean uh i would probably go check this out for the channel in theaters if it's available or around us or if we can get a screener or something uh but if not then i would i don't really mind watching this on a shutter 
I think that that's at least a smart idea to throw it on streaming because, you know, I don't see this getting a lot of butts and seats unless the trailer drops and suddenly we have all these people coming out of the woodwork, like, or coming out of the cornfield saying, yeah, children of the corn, I've been waiting, you know? It, it just so much anticipation that we had no clue that existed, but, um, <laughs> you know, I don't really see it. Um, you know, I think this will be a hard sell to get me out to the theater, but you know, if it's playing nearby, maybe I, I don't think I can see myself driving a, a good chunk of time to, to make time for <laughs> children of the corn. Uh, you know, we did, um, silent night, deadly nights, um, over Christmas and boy, was that painful. I, I feel like if we ever really want to torture ourselves, uh, we can we can dive into the catalog of all these Children of the Corn uh, sequels. Hey, I'm down. I am always down to watch some crappy movies. 